Now, Labor's deputy leader, Tanya Plibersek, is pressing the need for quicker assessment of refugee claims. And as the shadow foreign affairs minister, she also accepts a bigger set of resettlement options will be needed if refugees are to be moved off Nauru. We spoke to her just after the High Court handed down its decision. Well, Tanya Plibersek, it's worth remembering that Labor restarted detention on Nauru in 2013. It's been tweaked since then, but the High Court has today found that that regime is valid under Australian law. Is that a good thing on balance? Well, I think irrespective of the judgment today, it's important to say that there's no excuse for the fact that processing times have doubled under this government, that they're at about an average of 455 days now. And it's also worth saying that our preference when we were in government was an arrangement with Malaysia that would have allowed people to live and work in the community, children to go to school, people to receive medical attention. That was our, pref uh, our preferred position when we were in government. We also should say about uh, immigration detention that uh, people have to be properly looked after, their rights protected. Uh, we've said that we would insist on an independent children's advocate and mandatory reporting of any, any abuse suggestions. The, the detention centres uh, on Nauru and Manus are being run in a way uh, that the government should answer for. Even with the cases that are settled and refugee status has been uh, refused, the numbers, as you say, are stubbornly high on Nauru in particular. Uh, you could be Deputy Prime Minister of a government in nine months or so. What would you do to draw down those numbers? Well, we made announcements at our national conference saying that we would double our humanitarian intake, that we would work with the UNHCR, most particularly in our region, and contribute $450 million to the UNHCR. And I believe that uh, with a regional approach to resettling people, uh, we could see those people uh, leave Manus and Nauru. Uh, and Australia continue to play a much greater and more generous role in humanitarian resettlement of refugees. Have you sounded out any regional neighbours about the possibility of, of taking more? Because that's been a big problem so far. They're just not doing it. Well, both in the time that we're in government and the time we've been in opposition, of course, we uh, have discussions with our neighbours and we have discussions uh, with the big international organisations like the UNHCR about how we can play a better role and do our fair share. We think that a um, regional solution that takes people more directly from source countries so they're not risking their lives on boats is critical to that. And we believe a cooperative relationship with our neighbours is critical to resolving this issue. And would you seek to revive a deal with Malaysia? Well, we, we would be talking to all of our neighbours to ensure that we have a regional approach. Do you still like the look of that original design, the original well, I'm, idea? I'm not going to make uh, um, specific comments like that. I'd say that having a regional approach that involves the UNHCR that takes more people but takes them directly from the, the persecution they're fleeing is what we're after. Right. And just finally on this area, there are disturbing claims of the rape of a child and other forms of abuse. Is there any scope for one-off exemptions where people who came by boat without a visa could come to Australia to settle under extenuating circumstances? Well, I don't, I don't think I can comment on individual cases, but what I would say is any reports like this are deeply troubling. Of course they should be reported. There should be an independent children's advocate. Uh, there should be proper protection for um, all of the people uh, in our care in, on Manus and Nauru, but most particularly for children because they're so vulnerable. And the treatment of organisations like Save the Children and Whistleblowers has been completely unacceptable from this government. The culture of secrecy that's developed, the punishment of people who are raising these issues of concern is completely unacceptable. All right.